here is a list of things you should never ever say to a state trooper. Can I see a license and registration, please? Sure, you want to hold my beer? <laughs>
into opportunities. The thoughts that you have about any challenge in your life will ultimately determine the quality of success and happiness you're going to have in regards to that challenge. Contrary to what most people might think in this room, it's not the event, it's not the situation, it's not the irate customer that's getting on your nerves that will determine how successful, how happy you're going to be. It's how you think about them. Why? Because your thoughts have the incredible power to either minimize or maximize the effect that that challenge has on you. The beliefs you have about anything in your life are formulated over a period of time through a consistent way of thinking. If your thought process is always negative, and if you're always complaining about how tough things are, you are either solidifying or creating a, an intense negative belief system. For example, if you're walking around day in and day out from the moment that you wake up and you're saying things like this to yourself, as soon as you wake up in the morning, oh man, I can't believe this, I gotta go to work today, I don't know why I'm going, nobody appreciates anything I do, no matter how hard I try, I just get appreciation, it's absolutely ridiculous, I know it's gonna happen, I'm gonna go to work today, and all the stuff is gonna have to be done. Is somebody gonna come up and say, hey, you're doing a good job? No, I'm not gonna get that, but God forbid something should go wrong. Who's gonna get at me? You know, when I first got this job, I was hired to do one thing and one thing only. All of a sudden, now I'm doing two, three, four, five things, getting paid, same amount of money, this is absolutely absurd. What do we have, victim on my forehead? This is crazy. All these changes that are taking place, for instance, they were gonna do this way, why can't they make up their mind? I know why they can't, because nobody cares about me. It's the same thing all over again. You know what? These technological advancements are driving me out of my mind. I just learned how to work this stupid software. Now the big wheels up top say, oh, guess what? Now you have to learn a whole different way. Well, thanks for telling me, Sparky. I really appreciate that. And I am sick and tired of people coming up to me saying, maintain a healthy state of mind. You gotta be in control of your emotions. Oh, really? Well, what about my needs? <laughs> this is negative self-talk. You don't even know you're doing it. We do it from the moment that we wake up. Listen to me. If there is anything that is going to keep you from being productive and successful in your life, it is 100% because of negative self-talk. It's uh, great to have somebody who's not only informative, entertaining, and funny, and smart all rolled into one. Way to go, Steve. I've been married to my wife for 25 years until this day. I can't understand why I have to get in trouble for dreams that she has. Did that ever happen to anybody in here? You know, you wake up in the morning, it's like, hey, good morning. Don't you good morning me? I had a dream that you had an affair with another woman. And believe me, guys, your answer should never be, really? What did she look like? Steve was great, and uh, I'm at a time in my life when I forgot what laughter really means, and uh, it's definitely made a change in me. The teacher gave me a call. Mr. Rizzo, we have a problem. Your son thinks he's Jack Nicholson. And I'm like, well, what do you want me to do? <laughs> There's no phone in there. <laughs> what happened? You're looking at me like, well, I didn't know it was going to be a quiz. Your sense of humor is your sense of perspective. It's a choice we all have on how to deal with so much of the stuff that life throws at us every day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, people. You're great. Thank you.